measurements are the key of any experiment. So, and uh, the methods which we use here, they are really very sophisticated and state of the art. We are uh, certainly optical metrology, we're non-contact. We're not going to just measure the surface and say, hey, it feels kind of smooth, because then it no longer is. <laughs> If you look at this surface, it doesn't reflect because this is a rough. And for X-rays, which have a, a wavelength thousand times shorter than wavelengths of light, the, the roughness of X-ray optics should be thousand or ten thousand times better than the surface of our normal mirrors, which we use in real life. The old lab was uh, the building 80 main floor and this was uh, uh, used for a long time for communication purposes, so uh, telephone cables which cannot be clean uh, of dust or something like this. It's very difficult. So it was a kind of uh, our dream. The lab which we built and this dream has now came out. What makes this lab so fantastic? We have two main improvements. One is the time required to get good information about a surface is drastically reduced, roughly a factor of 16. We can also get a, uh, a better level of precision in our measurements because of the ability to have such a stable environmental control. On the optical table, where the instrument and the optics are going to be sitting 45 minutes to an hour, we're seeing about a one millikelvin temperature variation over the course of that single scan. Here there are three large sleeves which distribute air, and the air filtered in our, uh, in our cleaning facility, which is behind this wall, is going down uh, more or less with the laminar flow, and then it goes aside into the structure inside the walls, which means that even if uh, there will be just airborne particle, it will not be able to come up and stay in the air. It will just wash away with the air flow. The result will now is amazing because we have a, a, a particle contamination less than 500 particles in the cubic foot. We have interferometric microscope, we have atomic force microscope, we have interferometer, we have two long trace profilers, we have uh, Doppler laser vibrometer, and uh, we have Nikon microscope. Because we have more instrumentation, we have more capability to help uh, our scientists to get as good as possible optics.